So we have A equals 5, negative 1, and we have B equals I don't know. So how do I write out something I don't know? Well, I do know it's a point, so I'm just going to write it as x comma y. So we have A, we have B, we have our midpoint is negative 3 comma 5. So when in doubt, pictures are great, graphs. So A is 5, negative 1. 5 to the right, down, 1. So that point is A. I don't know B, so I can't graph it, but M, negative 3, 5. Negative 3, 5. So there's M. A, there's the midpoint. Well, I can graphically see here's the midpoint. If I draw a line, well, it's a bad line, and keep going, what I'm going to have up here is our point B. So how in the world do I get the coordinates A and B? Well, I know the midpoint formula, average the x's, average the y's. So our x's for A and B, we have, that's what normally we'll call x2, and here's x1. So we have x plus 5 over 2, comma y plus negative 1 over 2. And I do know the midpoint coordinates, negative 3 comma 5 equals x plus 5 over 2 comma y minus 1 over 2. Our goal is to find x and y, so all I have to do, we have this point equals this point, so our x coordinates have to match, our y coordinates have to match. There's really two equations. Negative 3 equals x plus 5 over 2, and 5 equals y minus 1 over 2. Now we have two separate algebra equations. These are just uh, basic algebra here. We're going to multiply by 2 as our first step. Multiply by 2. I'm going to write that as times 2. Now we know we have to multiply both sides by the 2. So 2 times negative 3, negative 6, equals the 2 cancels the half x plus 5, subtract 5, minus 6, minus 5, is minus 11. There's our x-coordinate. Now over here, we can do the y-coordinate. Same thing. Multiply both sides by the 2. 10 equals y minus 1. Add 1 to both sides. 11 equals y. So we got our point negative 11, comma 11. That makes sense. If I kept going with the axis, I'd probably have negative 11. And if I kept going up here, I would have positive 11. So there's our point B right there.